We begin the bulletin on a grim note as the South Tong District Assembly in the Volta region has announced new measures to deal with the security concerns in the area following the killing of an assembly member so for Sogakope Marcus Ajali last Sunday. News of the murder triggered protests and roadblocks by the youth demanding improved security. John News is learning police have arrested three people in connection with the incident. We'll hear from the District Chief Executive for South Tong, Emmanuel Agama, shortly. But first, Joy News has been to the community to interact with relatives and friends of the late Marcus Ajali about who he was. Komla Adum and Fred Kwame Asari were there. A quiet compound, a building with outside light bulbs still on several hours after daybreak. A wife newly registered salon car welcomes visitors to the home of a murdered assembly member for Sugakope South, Marcus Mauto Ajahli. A group of 20 relatives and well-wishers have come to see for themselves the ruins from last Sunday's attack. They mama and chatter among themselves, each one asking questions about the killing of their own. On the corridor of the entrance are sand particles from broken blocks and stones with the portion of a door handle smashed. That is where the attackers use as access into the room, we are told. One of the occupants of the adjoining buildings in the same compound is still traumatized after one of the attackers pointed a gun at her. So what I hear is boo, 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 boo. So when I was coming out to the porch, the noise was coming from the other side. So when I opened the door, I came out cry before I hear that the noise was coming, coming from this direction. So I walked towards the direction. When I read this motorcycle card, the person was standing here against the wall. So he just said the gun on me. So I quickly said this and then I ran back to the room. She says scenes of that night's event continue to play back on her mind every time. We were here arguing the thing and the wife came. When the wife can see that there's blood, she can't see anything with the blood. So we quickly head and lay her down on the floor. So they called their car that they brought there. You should take her to the hospital. So I said they should add my brother. They said no. And said the emergency ambulance can say, ah. Then they killed my brother. They said, why am I saying that? I said, ah, if the person didn't die, why is umbrella would take him here? They should let him dread the why. They say no. This is what she was told before the body of the late Marcus Ajahli was taken away. They said they use knife to remove the two eyes. They shoot here. They shoot the waist. They cut him with the knife. Basa basa. Nyama nyama no. That's what people say. Me, I didn't see him. Though residents here maintain the assembly member could have been saved had there been prompt response to their distress calls, they know somehow the killers would be found. By all means, if it is 20 years, crap, they will be found. You are confident that they will be found? Why not? If Walter himself is not thinking the dead that he dead me, he should leave them to go free. He should leave them to go free. 20 years crap, they will be found. Out there in town, shops belonging to the murdered assembly member are shut. Workers have been asked to stay home. These small business owners share shops along the same lane with one of Marcus Ajahli's shops, Mark Greenville Ventures, just around the market. Free. Even I went there to do my money, everything I went there to do it. And uh, surprisingly, it was sad news for us because uh, we don't know that it will happen. And we don't know who, who has done that. So as at now, you can see that a lot of people have been so bored and worried about the whole issue, that the whole thing that has, has happened. I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm going to talk to you about this. i She's sending her well wishes and comforting messages to the wife and the children. They should keep faith. Um, she prays that the Almighty God will console them in these times. Okay. Finally, me kakale jidele mi asibe police wa ton wa investigation bo arrest and make we oba wo mountain. Ma tank blobe kakade jio because ale kata ngojo no be ole police o yon. Ye mo ten show, 
mi ada ko fifia ma o wo wo ha o jo ho nka fia be wo atan eh apo ma o ta tu mi ela eh jesus even though the perpetrators may have fled somehow they expect the police to be able to try and fish them out so justice will be served more than 200 meters away from the market area is another branch of his mobile phone and call credit shop also shut a little shop few meters from this shop hosts a bunch of young men who together play draft here <laughs> Now they have lost a key friend. I saw the picture on the telly. I didn't believe it. I wanted to come here to find out. So this morning I arrived here in town from Kumasi and I came. When I came, the shop. The, the shop was locked, and I, the shop, as you can see, is still locked. So I was inquiring. It was there. They told me it's the muscle that I know that the the arm robbers attacked. In fact, it's a sad thing. It's a very sad story. The issue has been a subject of talk among community folk. A cocktail of grief, anger, and disbelief continues to characterize the mood here. But the residents believe Sunday and Monday's violent protests over the matter could yield results. Meanwhile, sources close to police in the region say three people have been arrested in connection with the killing. They are being interrogated as police widens its probe into the matter. Komla Adum and Fred Kwame Asaris report for Joy News.